For the Supplegen All Max Fitness Challenge for 2015, event number four, your strength challenge is called Don't Let Go. Really important, guys. Once you are finished with your deadlifts, the weight does not touch the floor again until you complete the entire strength challenge. It's going to be 12 reps for each lift, the weight doesn't change. So we start with a deadlift, 12 reps. From the deadlift, we go to a hang clean, 12 reps. From a hang clean, we go from shoulder to overhead. You can do that as a push press, a push jerk, a split jerk, or even a plain shoulder press, 12 reps. And from there, you have the option, a front squat, or load the weight on your back, and you finish up with a squat. 12 reps each. The weight is fixed throughout. It's gonna be 155 pounds for the men, 105 pounds for the women. Start with the deadlift, 12 reps. Hang clean, 12 reps. Shoulder to overhead, 12 reps. And then your squat for 12 reps. Complete the requisite number of reps in the shortest time, and you are the winner of Don't Let Go. Don't Let Go. Finish your deadlifts into a hang clean. From here on, the bar never touches the floor. Finish your cleans. After your cleans, it's shoulder to overhead. Any way you want. Shoulder press. Push press. Split jerk. Any way you want. Just make sure you're not doing thrusters. Finish here before you bend your knees again. Finish your push jerk or your shoulder to overhead. The bar can be rear loaded or it can be a front squat. And from here, we do your squats. Complete the requisite number of reps in the shortest time, and you are the winner of Don't Let Go. Challenge number four in the Supplegen or Max Nutrition Fitness Challenge for 2015 is your Strength Challenge. For your Strength Challenge, there are two options. The first option is called Top to Bottom. With Top to Bottom, we start with a snatch. 15 repetitions on the snatch. The weight for the men, 135 pounds. For the women, 95 pounds. 15 reps, then the athlete is responsible for adding weight themselves. Add the weight to the bar for the next exercise, which is going to be a clean or a power clean. The weight on the clean or the power clean is 155 pounds for the men, 105 pounds for the women. So 15 reps on the snatch or power snatch, load the bar, 15 reps on the clean or power clean, and then you load the bar one more time and you finish with a deadlift. The weight for the deadlift is 245 pounds for the men, 175 pounds for the women. 15 reps each, athletes responsible for loading the bar each time to add that weight on. Complete the requisite number of weight and reps in the shortest time, and you are the winner of top to bottom. So top to bottom starts with a snatch or a power snatch, followed by a clean or power clean, finishes with a deadlift. Unlike top to bottom, so I like don't let go. You can rest the weight in between, recover, shake your arms out. As much as you need to break the reps, feel free, as long as you complete the entire challenge in the five minute time cap. So we start with a snatch, or a power snatch. When you complete all your snatches, you have to add the weight to the bar. The athlete is responsible for his own weight. Clips must be used. After the snatches, it's a clean or a power clean.
complete the requisite number of cleans or power cleans, you change the bar. Finish up with your deadlift. Complete the requisite number of reps for each weight. Power snatch or snatch, power clean or clean, and deadlift within a tight five minute time cap. And that's how you complete top to bottom. The first one you'll see with the snatch, this is the more technical of the two. It's one pump from the floor, directly overhead, and drop. Always keeping bar close to the body. Let's keep your bit. Again, from the side, where you see the bar being kept close to the body, and the second phase where the explosion occurs, demonstrate the place. Thank you. Brilliant. Next one is the clean. This one is, requires a little more strength, but not as technical as the snatch. First phase from the bar, from the floor, to the knees, then to the shoulders. Alright, go ahead Gabby. Good. Good. Always keeping the elbows forward and up. Thank you. From this side. You'll see how the bar is kept close to the body at all times. Go ahead. Back remains flat. Elbows forward. And you breathe up as you stand. Thank you. The ultimate deadlift is just to get the bar off the floor and stand erect. Thank you. You're looking for a flat back, engage the hips, and stand up. Breathe out as you come up. So, strength challenge option number two is called don't let go. The difference between don't let go and top to bottom is that the weight doesn't change. Also, you cannot break your reps. You cannot break your reps. Anytime you put that bar down onto the floor, is over and how many reps you've completed for that lift is your score. So try and make sure you gut it out and get all the way through. Don't let go starts with the deadlift first for the prerequisite number of reps. From the deadlift, we go into a hand clean. From a hand clean, we go into a push press. And from a push press, we go into a squat. Your option, it could be a front squat or a back squat. Gabby's gonna demonstrate for us starting with the deadlift. Straight into the clean. Good. Making sure those elbows come forward into that right position. Straight into the push press. Then she lowers the bar either in the back or in front, and then she does the squats. Good. Excellent. She didn't even need my help. So. The weight will be fixed on the bar, it's not going to increase throughout. Um, complete the reps in the shortest time and you will be a judge the winner. I'm going to just have uh, Coach Andrew Calder come and tell us about some of the points of performance on the lift we haven't seen so far, um, namely the squat and the push press. So, Don't Let Go shows us two new movements. It shows us the shoulder to overhead, called a push press. 
posture, or whatever you want to call it, and it shows us the squat. What are you looking for as a judge when it comes to those two movements? Start with the push press. For that extension of the elbow. Okay. Never that. Okay. Or. Right. So once I've one flowing motion again. Okay. Um, and what sort of things might people get no reps on? Well, the guys more than likely are going to struggle with that because a lot of them have overdeveloped bicep. Okay. So if they're going to do that, they would have to indicate to the judge, you know, that the elbow is going to be bent slightly. But they should always try to get full extension. Yeah. Right. And the starting from this point for a rep, because we know there's, there's this movement that, that in the CrossFit community is called a thrust. A thrust is where we start from here, we press above, and we come back down. So we want to make sure there's a clear distinction between the thrust and the push press, correct? You bring the bar from above to the shoulders, squat, come up, press. Back to the shoulders, press. So we have to come back to this position before we can bend in these yes. and explode again. Right. And as far as coaching, what sort of points of performance would you be encouraging people to look out for if they're trying to improve in their shoulder to overhead movements? Easy on the weight, okay. more speed, and it's something that they're going to struggle to find, but try to get the reps going as quickly as possible in a controlled manner. And don't worry about the weight that much, right. it will come. Okay. But getting that speed going all the time. All right. Now the squat. Um, they have the option. Uh, Gabby demonstrated a, a back loaded squat. They have the option of doing a front squat or a rear loaded squat. Um, what are you looking for when it comes to the squat? Just rest the bar on the shoulders, front or back. Right. Keep the feet flat. And let it rip. What's the legal squat? In my world, that's an illegal squat. Okay, so the crease of the but hip. Part of, mm -hmm. So the crease of the hip goes slightly below yes. the top of the knee. So if we go down here, this would be mm -hmm. no rep. But we don't have to go all the way down here. We don't have to. Just as long as the crease of the hip breaks that part of the line with the top of the kneecap or patella, as we call it, we consider that to be a legal squat. But what happens if my heels come off the floor? Yeah. Right. Okay, and if I'm a little lost in balance, am I going to correct myself? It's all right. That's all right. Um, front rack position, back. Back position, any difference for you? Well, in this, in this aspect, I'll put it on the back, it'd be easier for you. Right, so somebody might have mobility issues, yeah. uh, so the rear loaded squats could be much easier. All right, now, now we have the components of the event. We have two months left. Obviously, we, we, they have three months in total to train for the competition. Right? Two months left. What do they need to do as far as the type of commitment is concerned to get proficient in these movements with the last two months to go? Yeah, they give out these four days dedication. Four days a week. A week. Okay. So this. And, and, and what's happening in those sessions? Your deadlifts. Deadlifts with speed. You're snatching, snatching with speed. Right. But whatever you do, speed, proper technique. I think I'm speaking from what I've seen in Barbados, and the problem is speed. Okay. And if they get that right, things will be a lot easier. So we are holding clinics every every weekend. We're doing clinics for the swimming. We're doing clinics for the track stuff. We're doing some clinics for the weightlifting movements as well. But obviously, once a week may not be might not be enough for someone to really start to get proficient. How would somebody find someone like yourself if they want to get some extra coaching? We are located at the stadium, the stand closest to the Lama Company. Any afternoon after four o'clock, we'd we'll be there right. Right. till about six thirty-seven. Right. They can come in at. They can. Get some pointers if they just want pointers or if they want to train, they can come and talk to us. Right. So this is Andrew Callender, President and Head Coach of the Barbados Weightlifting Association. Any words of advice, last word of advice for anyone getting ready for the all mats for this challenge? Lift strong. Lift strong. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you, Gabby. George Griffith here for All Max TV, bringing you news, views, and updates on everything to do with the All Max Fitness Extravaganza. October 2015, Barbados. Check the website www.allmatsfitnesschallenge.com